Ladies and gentlemen, the 2017 Man of Innovation is Hayden Cox. This is a very different room to what I'm used to being in, which is a dusty shaping bay that isn't as glamorous as uh, what we're looking tonight. But um, I would first like to um, thank GQ and Audi for um, putting on tonight. Um, Audi has been a supporter of mine for a couple of years. And for the reasons that we do share the same ideologies when it comes to innovation and performance, and it's something that I'm extremely passionate about personally. But, you know, tonight, recognising innovation with an industry like surfboard manufacturing, which creates a product that surfing wouldn't exist without, um, the role of a surfboard shaper and what we do doesn't often get talked about on platforms like this. So tonight, I'm definitely honoured to um, be here and accept this award. But to me, um, innovation. Innovation can be small ideas, it can be big ideas. But most importantly, it's a culture of innovative thinking that I feel is most important. Um, you know, that you can have patents, you can have IP, but it's really about those daily sort of things that you do that are innovative. It's the small things that amount to a big innovation that comes about. You know, I started my business, um, a surfboard business, Hayden Shapes, when I was in high school. So that's um, 20 years ago this year for myself. And I designed and patented FutureFlex technology, which I won't bore you with the details, but I removed the wooden stringer out of the centre of the board and put carbon fibre around the rails of the board. And um, ironically, it was FutureFlex that almost sent me bankrupt in about 2010. Um, but it was a product that I sort of believed in. I, I saw and I felt how the board would ride and, and what it could feel for, for other people out there. So I persevered and it's today something that actually has enabled us to go global and sort of have something with our brand that sort of speaks differently to, to many other surfboard manufacturers out there. So it's, without the innovation, it, um, it wouldn't have sort of put us on that global map. But the exciting thing in my industry is that more and more surfboard shapers and, and businesses out there are experimenting and using unique constructions and, and different ways to build a board. And, and you know, that's a, an amazing opportunity. And it's also a big inspira inspiration for myself as a surfboard designer. But um, I think I'll wrap it up. I'm really stoked to obviously receive the award tonight, but um, before I get off the stage, I'd just like to thank my beautiful wife, Danielle. She's um, a huge part <laughs> behind um, a lot of things that go on in, in this world, uh, uh, amazing women that do amazing things, and my wife, Danielle, is one of those. She brings a lot of my ideas to life. She, she converts words that I speak that don't make any sense at all into words that other people can understand, and um, um, it was actually... Um, eight years ago today that we met. So, love you very much. And uh, thanks. Woo! Cheers. 2018, yep. what do you hope for Australians to strive for? Happiness. Yep. I feel like um, when I go down to the beach, I'm happy. And that's what I love to do. And I just hope all of Australia can have that same happiness in their lives. Beautiful. Congratulations, man. Thank have you. a good night.